Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare and apply Shoreset Pour On Gravel Binder on loose stone like this. Now, if you do have loose stone or gravel on a patio area or a pathway like this, you probably already know it's hard to keep clean and keep the stone in the same place, especially if you've got kids or animals. Because kids like to pick up the stones and kick them around. Or trying to move heavy things like a wheelie bin through loose stone can be a nightmare. And the last thing you want is getting stones caught up in your lawnmower when cutting the grass. So the first job is you're going to have to prepare the stone. If it's existing stone down in position, you're going to need to clean it first. As you can see, I'm creating a new pathway here, and we've brought in new stone, which has been washed and dried. However, some stone that you purchase still may need cleaning and drying before you lay it into position. So it's worth double checking with your supplier. You can use different size stone from 10 millimeters up to 20 millimeters. There's two ways of cleaning the stone. You can lay it down into position and then clean it with your hose pipe and leave it to naturally dry or you can clean each bag individually by pouring this into a bucket or a tray, again using your hose pipe to clean it out, then spread it into position and leave it to dry. Either way, the stones need to be as dry as possible, free from any dust or debris before applying your resin. You may want to use a lawn edging, which has an upstand of about 50 millimeters. This acts as a retainer to hold your stone and resin on one side and allows you to lay your grass on the other. Then you're going to need to level the stone out. Because I have an upstand either side of the stone where it meets the grass, I'm going to drag a plank across there and tamper the stone down flat. Now in some situations you may need to mask up the surrounding areas where you don't want the resin to be poured onto. Here we've got some artificial grass but at home you may have normal grass there or even the block pavia right up to the side and that's where you're going to need to use the masking tape. So now the masking tape has been applied around the both sides and the one end to secure that any resin doesn't go onto this side grass area here. I'm just going to take my trowel and just go across the surface and make sure it's as flat as possible, you know. You can always put your plank back on the top because we've got these upstands here and drag it back that little bit more just to try and get it as flat as possible before you apply the resin. Now the beauty about Sure Set's Pour On Gravel Binder is there is no mixing involved. Straight out of the container into the water and can. Pop your safety specs on, give it a quick shake and pour. Oh, and don't forget your gloves and some old workwear. This applicator bar comes complete with an adapter to fit most water and cans like this. An adjustable width allows for more precise pouring it'll cover widths from 10 centimeters to 30 centimeters. And now can start to pour the resin onto the stone. As you can see, the resin is pouring out evenly across the stone. Keep the water and can moving at a consistent pace while the resin showers the area. So at this point, you don't want it applied too much, just enough to give the impression that the area is wet. Then in 24 hours, you can apply another layer. You're aiming for one kilo per square meter, Try not to overcoat it. It's easy to add more the following day. Don't attempt to lay your resin if the temperature is below five Celsius or you're expecting rain in the next 24 hours. Now along these edges here, where you can see the resin hasn't quite got to the edge there, I can get another container and pour some on that. I can do it this coat or I can do it on the second coat or even the third coat if it needed it on there. And you can see straight away by applying the resin on top of the stone, it's starting to really draw out them rich colors in this type of aggregate. So that's my first layer of resin applied. It was a five liter container and it's covered five square meters. I'm gonna leave that to settle in for a minute or two to allow the resin to drip its way through the stone. And then I'm gonna gently take my trowel and just compact the top down and float it over the surface. When you finish troweling, always give your tools a really good clean and wipe off, or you can spray on Shoreset's own tool cleaner. A little bit of that on it and wipe it off. 
and it's perfect. Now the first layer of resin has had 24 hours now to touch it. It feels a little bit sticky and that's just because of the temperature. But when I press it with the trowel, it's solid. I'm going to be able to walk on it and apply the second coat. So I'll put another five litres into my watering can and I'm going to apply it exactly like I did yesterday. Pouring resin over loose gravel can have several benefits. It can stabilise it, preventing it from shifting or spreading. It also adds strength and durability to the loose stone and can withstand heavy foot traffic and adverse weather conditions. While still giving an appearance of natural loose stone, the resin holds it in place, keeping it clean and looking attractive. It's okay to walk across your pathway 24 hours after applying your last layer of resin. Now that's my second coat of resin applied. Now you may be wondering, how many coats do I need? Well, one coat is suitable if it's just a decorative area in your garden. Two coats is perfect for a standard pathway around your house, like this one, but you could put more on it if it was a commercial area and it was gonna get more heavier and more common foot traffic on there. You could apply three, even four coats. But that's my pathway now complete. All I need to do now is remove the masking tape and wait for it to dry. Now I finished doing this pour on resin pathway about three days ago now and it looks wet because it's nice and shiny. It's like glittering a little bit because of the resin on there and it's also enhancing the natural color of the stone, but it really is rock hard, it's solid. I can even, you know, bang my feet on it like this, walk all over it. There is no movement in it. So now it's time for the water test. I've got a 10 litre tub of water here. Let's see if and how long it takes to disperse through this stone. Here we go. 10 litres. Woo! Four, five, not even five seconds. I can hear it bubbling away in there as it's dispersing through all of the stones, but I can't see any of it. Obviously, it's a little bit wet to touch on the top, but that has now just kind of showered its way through the stone and started to spread all the way along there. 10 full litres of water gone in under five seconds. So that's how easy it is to prepare and apply Shoreset Pour-On Resin Gravel Binder. I'm sure you'll agree, it looks fantastic. If you want to know more about the vast range of products that they sell, just check out their website, shoreset.co.uk.